Now, if we, if we think about uh, uh, the computer, it's actually the brain was a prototype of the computer. And that's the way we conceive the idea of having a computer. It's just encoding some information, just a lot of fast ons and offs going back and forth, and then they're translated into pictures, into music, into language, and whatever it might be. But our, our computers get viruses too, or they get overloaded. They sometimes need to be defragmented. All this stuff goes on in our computers that really screws it up. Maybe we do the same thing in our minds. Maybe we download all sorts of negative things from people around us. We know we download everything as little kids. When we're tiny kids, we're in a slow state of mind, almost like you're in a hypnotic trance, and we're just downloading information that everything is around us. Then we do it to some degree the rest of our lives. We do it when we hear ads on television. We download that information. We have to run out and buy the product. We've been influenced by these downloads. Those are viruses. Sometimes they've been called MEMS that we're picking up from the environment all around us. And then we live by them and we give up our freedom. We're not letting ourselves be conscious. And our consciousness coming back, we're the ones in charge of what we think. We're the ones who are determining how this computer in our head works. Not letting all these downloads, these viruses control us. This is why we need to use some of our newer tools that work with the subtle energies to change that system, to clear out those viruses, to let ourselves be more fully functioning. Let our computer, our own internal computer, uh, work more effectively and efficiently.